Now, here's meteorologist TJ Del Santo with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. We'll be seeing some light snow overnight and during the daytime tomorrow, but the, the big accumulations will begin tomorrow evening. Let's take a look at what's happening right now. Our live pinpoint Doppler 12 radar. You already see most of the area is covered in blue. This is a light to even some moderate snow here and there. And uh, as we zoom into the Rhode Island area, you can see some darker shades of blue rotate or, or moving into our area. And we'll continue to see this kind of off and on through the night and into the daytime tomorrow. Uh, our uh, warnings are for the uh, areas in pink. Kent County, Providence County, Bristol County, Rhode Island, uh, now until Tuesday at 1 a.m. So a very prolonged storm here, even Norfolk County and the Central Mass, northeastern Connecticut. Along the coastline, winter storm watch expecting less in the way of accumulations down there. We'll talk about that in a second. For tonight and Sunday, medium chance of uh, weather that will impact your life and that being the light snowfall that we'll be seeing creating some slick roadways and then tomorrow night and especially on Monday we'll see a high chance of weather that will impact your life. We're expecting some significant snowfall downtown Providence. We've got some very light snow falling at the moment. You can see in the hurricane barrier cam fairly quiet though. We've got some decent visibility every once in a while. A couple of snowflakes coming down. Temperatures are in the upper 20s. Smithfield Providence, Newport, New Bedford back over into Westerly about 29 30 in Tiverton live weather information from there. Light winds down uh, in the southeastern corner of the state. Satellite radar picture showing blue from Cape Cod all the way back into Canada. It's associated with a frontal system that's dropping down from the north. It'll be working its way further on off to the south and east and helping to create a large temperature contrast, which will create off and on snow through the uh, daytime tomorrow, but more specifically during the evening tomorrow and through the daytime on Monday. Look at the shade of blue right in here. We are looking at some very heavy snow from Boston to just to the north and east of Rhode Island, likely continue into very early Tuesday morning. So again, the timeline light snow overnight off and on snow on Sunday, one to three inches possible through uh, about three o'clock in the afternoon tomorrow. Then the steadier and heavier snow start Sunday evening, probably just after six o'clock. Steady snow most of Monday. The largest accumulations inland, 10 to 15 inches. Providence on off to the north, 7 to 10 inches. Kent County, South County, over into Fall River, 4 to 7 inches at the south coast, where there could be some mixing. It'll be a heavier, wetter snow down along the south coast as well. Boston area potential for 15 inches or more up there overnight. Occasional light snow coating to an inch possible, coating to an inch possible tomorrow morning and then tomorrow uh, afternoon 30 degrees with occasional snow 1 to 3 inches by 3 p.m. Here's your seven day future cast expecting snow right into early Tuesday. Bit of a break Wednesday potential for a little more snow on Thursday. Then look at Friday. This could be the coldest day of the season uh, with temperatures starting off in negative two and only getting up to about 10 in the afternoon. Now on Saturday, I was just looking at some long range information. It could be potentially one of the coldest days we've had in here in decades. So that kind of cold is arriving. In the meantime, we're dealing with the snow and a lot of it. This is just crazy. I mean, it just to come all at us, you know, at us in three week period, you know, just you know, a few bam. weeks ago, we were saying, well, what, I what know. winter? Exactly. It's here. All right. Thanks, TJ. Coming up on Eyewitness News.